Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're doing a retail break of the 2019 Tops update. Uh, we have two fat packs, two hanger boxes, and one blaster box in this break. This uh, has been pretty good. That is, the retail has been pretty good to us. Um, and hopefully you're able to bust some retail as well. The hobby is still a little expensive. $80, $85, I think, for a hobby box. And about $140-ish. We've been able to buy some jumbos for $125, but $140-ish seems to be around the, the average price of a jumbo. Um, this is $550, I think, for a fat pack. Uh, $10 or $11 for a hanger box. And then $20 for a blaster box. So look at the odds um personally we have been having the best success out of the fat packs they all have been good though they all have been good but the <clears throat> best ones for the money have been the fat packs um adam hazley grinnells dietrich kevin Crones. these ones how many cards do you get like 36 yeah I think, 34 <clears throat> it's 34 34 yeah they they switched it yeah, up this year everything made all weird different. numbers Got Griffin Canning, Mayhu, Trent Thornton. Got a hundred and fifty, Ryan Halsey rookie. So you get at least one uh, parallel or insert. It seems like in each one of these uh, fat packs. Yeah, <clears throat> sometimes a couple. Like here we've oh, got a yeah. Josh Donaldson black, and that's yeah. gonna be numbered out of two ninety nine. So. That's a that's a pretty uh, tough pull. Yeah, I mean, I have a jumbo case. We probably got like one or two of yeah, those. Yeah, hardly so any of those really colored. Easy. Yep. Um, so that's pretty decent. Carter Keyboom rookie. Wait, that's was nice. that? Go back a minute. Was there one in there that was? Oh no, no, oh no, that had an All Star game symbol. Sorry. Uh, for a second there, I thought it was one hundred fiftieth. No. We already <clears> got one of those. Right. This pack. Right. It would have been in the in the middle. There's a Tatis and Guerrero. Oh, that was a good little rack pack there. Yeah, that was. Um, yeah, and also there just wouldn't have been two in the same pack. So Now, we did pull sense. out of a hanger box a one-of-one -one printing plate of Austin Riley. So the so, hanger box is... Yeah, exactly. You uh, definitely get some good stuff out of both. But the odds for, for that sure. are crazy tough. I'll show you real quick what the odds actually are. So you, you can see. It. So these cost uh, ten dollars for a hanger box, and uh, autographs in retail are almost impossible. It seems like to pull. I mean, like we have hardly ever. Actually, never. I don't think yeah, never. Though, not once. Not one single time have we ever pulled an autograph out of any update series one or series two or any 13, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, no. 7, 6 football ever pulled an auto out of retail <laughs> and we've probably opened up overall like probably yeah, like lot, oh i don't even lot. know like three thousand yeah. dollars worth of retail and never once pull an auto yeah it's not but people here. people tell us all the time they pull autos i mean not all the time that they do it but they've told us frequently that they've pulled autos so. you can hit i think retail exclusive <clears throat> autos occasionally yeah but and they're some quite of them tough. are big name guys yeah um, so in this one, we got a Griffey, 150th, Joe Biagini, Nick Senzel, 84. That's pretty nice. Um, Johnny Bench, Ted Williams. A, that's pretty nice, too. Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. Bregman, 150th, greatest players, and that will be numbered <clears throat> out of Having a good World Series. So, it's pretty sweet. Game 6 is on tonight. You know, right now, the... Nationals are leading by one to nothing, so we'll see what happens in this game. Of course, it's a winner go home game for them. It's Strasburg versus who's? Ah, uh, is it Cole? I can't remember. No, Cole pitched last. Oh, yeah, he night. pitched the other night. Um, is it Verlander? Mm, yeah, it is Verlander. Let's we'll see. It would be Verlander. It's your turn, by the way. It's Verlander. I know because they showed it last <clears throat> night and it was Strasburg and Verlander and they kept talking about how Verlander was going to get be like was excited because he might have the opportunity to win at home in a World Series game. Yeah, old Justin Verlander. He hasn't done poorly in the playoffs, but he hasn't been lights out either. So 
He hasn't had actually that good of a playoff. Series. No, no, but it ha- he hasn't he been hasn't done horrible bad. either. Just, he hasn't like gone like nuts. So Garrett Cole has definitely pitched a little better than him. Probably. Yeah, and so has uh, Granky. All right, here's a uh, Biggio. Granky would probably pitch seven if it goes to seven. I guess. I would think so. Yep. Muncy. There is a Castro. And what is this one? It's an like an iconic old, card. Yeah. It's your, you have a black in here. A black? Yeah, next card's a black. Or a card after that's a black. I thought I saw black. Oh, oh, no, I think you're seeing things there, my friend. <laughs> Maybe it was like the top or something. That one is blue. That I wonder if that's just yeah, the think, no, uh, that's just the basic a color. One. That insert we pulled is a blue, so maybe it, some kind no, of it a is, parallel. It is a parallel. Like they have the blue parallels, but it is not actually numbered or anything. So look at both of these rack packs or fat packs we pulled: the Tatis and then the Vlad. Those are always back to back, but that's pretty good out of two. It's not bad. Fat and packs. Dumb. I thought I saw it blue, but apparently or black, but apparently not. Uh, these are pretty good um, fat packs. Not no big parallels in them, but mine was better. Let's see, what we can get out of this hanger box. <clears throat> this one was a little bit crunched on the side, so hopefully the cards are all right inside. Get like a trout auto or something. It's just like destroyed. Uh, that wouldn't be funny. I wonder really what tops. Not. I wonder how tops treats that. I would hope you would hope they would. Yeah, that's not really their issue, I guess. Yeah. They wouldn't necessarily have to because it's. All right, let's see if we can pull something big out of here. Now, the golds are pretty prevalent in the retail and the foils, and those can get some decent money with the right rookies. You probably get one or two golds of Blaster Box. Yeah, you, I think you do, pretty much, which is a good value if you're hitting the... You know, They don't have to even be the top rookies, but the golds have gone way up in value. I remember when we collected oh my goodness. back in 14, and we were selling golds to the hobby shop by us for a buck a piece. No, it was not a dollar a piece. It was 25 cents a piece. Oh, maybe 25 cents a it piece. It was not yeah. a dollar a piece. It wasn't much. And uh, we were happy to get that because we, we had sold, a whole bunch I of them. We sold and, almost a hundred golds for like twenty five cents a piece. And they and they amazing. were not worth. I mean, we couldn't. We had an eBay store at the time. We couldn't sell them on eBay. They wouldn't catch any money. So here is a gold, and it's a rookie. Peter Alonso, maybe. It's on that. It is sweet. Look at that. Nice. Awesome. It's been a solid rip. Here. Yeah, pretty good. So. I was going to say, who else is in here from the Mets as a rookie? I don't think anybody. McNeil's not and, in here. Uh, no, I don't. No, he's not. He's not in an update. Griffin Canning. And, yeah, that was sweet. So, there you go, retail. Um, just fly through this base in the back here. There's Guerrero. There, and then, here we go again. Look at this. This is the third time we pulled Actually, those. the fourth, because I fourth. got my hanger, too. Oh, you did in your hanger? Yeah, so we got. <laughs> yeah, and then there's... Uh, uh, Senzel behind there and that Ford for it's funny how that collation works out yeah so <clears throat> pretty good um, hanger box yeah not there, too shabby the P- I don't think I don't know that how much that P. Alonzo rookie debut gold sells for but I bet you it pays for the hanger box start off with the one exclusive 150 years of professional baseball commemorative patch card you technically can get autos and stuff in yeah, this. Yeah, we've never pulled can one. Can you? Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know if I've ever seen one. That's like the third Warren Spawn we've gotten. Um, alrighty. There's Pat, Kelly, Pete Alonzo, Miller, Herrera, Roy Holiday, 84. All right. You usually get about one or two parallels a box in these blasters, it kind of seems like. Yeah, we haven't pulled any number, real low-numbered parallels yet out of these. We got, but like, a stat variation. Yeah. 
And we have pulled some photo variations Sanctuous. out of these, too. Yeah, the photo variations seem pretty easy to pull out of these blasters. Now, so. watch Fanatic's website and the MLB Shop website because they will run sales on the stuff. And earlier in the week, or over the weekend, they had blasters for thirteen ninety nine plus shipping. Or no, I think it was with free shipping, and then you had to pay sales tax. So that was a really good deal. Um, so stay, you know, kind of stay tuned on their channel or keep an eye on their cha or their channel, their website um, for their sales. So that's fanatics.com and then the mlbshop.com. And you just type in 2019 tops update in the search. And I think it's only blasters and a retail box they have there. Yeah. Retail box. We Didn't we get one of those too? Yeah, we bought one of those uh, when it was on sale. Yeah, that'll be kind of interesting actually. So yeah, those have uh, the, what are they, 16 card packs I think? I or think are they so. 14 cards? I, I can't think remember. 14. Maybe they're 14. We've never opened up one of those though. No, we haven't. Not... We opened up one of Heritage, but none of a Topps product, like a series product. So. Yeah, and the Heritage one was not very good. It was not. There's a Willie Mays 1984. I don't know. I used to only open up those type of packs when I was like 12, 13, 08, all the... Like, oh, my all word. Here we go again. <laughs> and Brent Rogers. And Brent Rogers, yeah. So, not bad. Only a couple of those type. All right. It's pretty funny, actually. We've gotten so many of those. Yeah. Obviously, the Tatis... Um, and there's a Skremski, true rookie. The Tatis is a it has a goal. The Tatis is a rookie debut. So Let's hope it's a rookie goal. Let's hope it's a rookie. Let's see. It's gonna be this way. No. Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores. So it's still a gold, but not the gold you're looking for. But that's okay. Sometimes it's just what happens. You can't get a rookie gold every time. No, you can't get a rookie gold every time. It does seem time. like you get a rookie gold like 50% of the time because so there's so many stinking Yeah, so many rookies stuff. in there. That's why, that's why Update is a good product. Um, now, time will tell to see how good this uh, year's is going to be. Maybe it's not going to be as good. But the chances of one of these guys that is kind of a second or third tier guy – and him busting out is fairly high, actually. There's a George Springer rainbow foil. That's not bad. But we'll see. I mean, 2016 update is probably one of the worst products of the recent updates. But all the rest have gone way but up in value. But even that 16 update, there's still a couple of guys in there that aren't that bad. Yeah, they aren't that bad. Just not as sought after as some of the other years. Well, if you look at other years, like literally every year is like a superstar in it. Yeah, 17, 18, 15. Yeah, they're all big. Warren Spawn. The Bregman out of 150. Nick Senzel rookie. Donaldson out of 299. Helsley. And I know we had a couple more because we had that Alonzo gold, which I think got thrown in this pile. Yeah, it's in there. Yep. Here it is. And this is the other nice one. Nice Alonzo rookie debut gold. So pretty solid overall. <clears throat> Not bad. Um, that was, you know, a decent break. And look for the sales, uh, especially around Christmas, Thanksgiving time. Target in the past has done sales. Um, well, they'll do, I think right now they have a 25% off coupon that you can use. Um, just go to their website. You'll find it. It's a toy coupon, but it's good for cards. So try that out. Um, and they'll do other sales. Meyer does sales sometimes where there's like buy one, get one, 50% off. So keep your eye on these retail um, uh, stores because they will run sales periodically. And a lot of times cards are included. So take a look at that. Uh, and then look for eBay sales and uh, eBay bucks. That's always another way to save some money when you're uh, collecting uh, retail. So check that out. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, let us know what you think of this break. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next break. Take care, guys, and have fun collecting.